This is the G7 Newport Capo. It's based on a tried and tested flip lever style of capo, which we felt had some drawbacks. The metal could come in contact with the neck of the guitar when you put it on. When you dropped it on in place, the rubber tended to move past the bass string so that you had to adjust the position before you tightened it up. And when you tightened it up, it was actually quite hard to adjust. And you certainly couldn't have operated it with one hand. So with the Newport Capo, we've tried to overcome all of those problems. We use silicon rubber all the way around here to protect the neck and silicon rubber is virtually inert. So uh, it isn't going to damage the finish on your guitar. As well as that, it operates with the simple same flip lever, but it can be adjusted quite easily there on the neck with no problem. In the Newport range of capos, we've got this six string capo for acoustic or electric guitar. And we have that in this uh, silver color. It's actually satin chrome and in gold and in black. Then we have the five string partial capo, which drops on there and allows your bass string to ring through. We've got a three string partial capo, which you pop on and you can get an E sus chord, which gives you that sort of dad gad effect. Or you can put it on the other way up and you've got an A chord. And as well as that, we've got a classical guitar capo for wide nylon strung guitars with wide fingerboards and flat fingerboards. And it's really light. If your nylon strung guitar has a curved fingerboard, you might be better with the 12 string capo which is the same length but with a radius and it's really good for a 12 string because you can put it on there you can see the extra length and you can wind it up to give you the force that you need to fret all 12 strings then as well as that we have our banjo capo for instruments with narrower necks so that's the full range of the new ports and people really love these because they work so well but also they're so slim and low profile they don't get in the way of your hand and they look fantastic on any guitar